So if you're watching this video, that means I've given you a hacked modified version of the Fire TV stick. So after you plug in the power, it'll boot up to this menu. Um, it will go straight to this registration page because I have already modified um, the system. So right now, you first have to select modify network settings. So we can connect to your wireless network. Right now I'm going to connect. I'm going to look up here while I put in my wireless key. Yes, that screen is upside down. Okay. And you can just press the play pause button to automatically um, enter your input. So now the connection was successful. And now I'm gonna click register because I've already I already have my own account. So Now I'm going to enter my password and we'll look up here again. Okay, you can press play pause again. Now that's setting up. Okay. Okay, now it's loading the home. So this is the normal uh, Fire TV uh, home screen. So you can go click on Get Started with Fire TV so you can understand what it is, um, what uh, you can do with it. So now let's get to the modified section. So first you have to go all the way to settings. Press down, go to settings. And then you go to applications. So there's two applications that I've installed here. Uh, so you go all the way down to manage all install applications. The first one's called Autopilot. If you click this and click Launch Application, this will allow you to automatically boot up the hack system that I installed. That's called TVMC. If you click it, you'll click Yes. Uh, uh, if you click Yes, that means it will automatically boot every single time you turn on um, the Fire TV stick. Normally, it doesn't ever turn off. But if you plug into something and you turn it on and off, it will automatically boot up to this. Uh, it may take a while to boot uh, into it, but that's just in case you just wanted to go straight to it because uh, the whole point of using this modified version is so you can have free movies and free shows. So you can just, this is a typical Android uh, button layout, so you can press back to go back. And now we're going to go to the actual application. And that's called TVMC. So click it, launch application. So now it may run an update or some sort of notification. So now um, you can go through video, music, programs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, but I'm only going to cover the video, uh, the video section. So if you go down and press down again to get to these. Oh, until you get to these uh, larger buttons, we can click on one channel. Okay, and let's, why don't we just pick a TV show? Okay, we'll pick a featured one. So that means something new, we can search, whatever. It may take a while based on your internet. Right now my internet is running slow, so. And also depending on the source that you select, that will affect your speed and quality. But the main advantage of using this feature, uh, using um, this hack, is that you don't have to use your computer to find these shows.
it's not really taking forever because it has to update the latest feature the um, shows okay I'll watch my screen saver okay and there's a list so like let's say whatever we can pick let's pick bones okay click it working and let's just go to lay season as you can see it has all the seasons Select one of these shows. Oh, this one actually was just released this week, so that's pretty amazing that these new episodes are already out. So we'll pick the latest one. Click it. Now it's gonna bring up a list of the available available streams that you can watch it from. So the the problem is that you have to find the one that works the best on you. If the buffering like in a few seconds, it's still at like one percent find something else it's it takes forever um, to skip through uh, and it, you won't be able to really enjoy the show without having to pause and laying it buffer yep my internet sucks right now okay that bad so here's a list of the different servers and as you can see it shows how many views from a sp particular server sometimes it's best to choose the highest one sometimes it's best to pick a, uh, a different one usually I prefer like a uh, vidbull or div uh, vodlocker so when I pick vodlocker some of these may a ask you for a captcha so I click uh, vodlocker right now And there you go. I think I muted my sound. Oops. I just switched, switched the input. Great. So, let me get the sound in there. Okay. And as you can see, well, this is an old version of the show, so it looks old, but or looks great, uh, grainy. So we can go back, and currently it's still playing in the background. As you can see, there's a, a play right there. So if you press uh, the right arrow, it will slide this out. Uh, my screen is improperly sized, so then you can control, or aside from just playing, pressing play and pause, you can go back to full screen just in case. And if you want to skip a minute, you just press right. You want to skip like uh, 10 minutes, you press up. Okay. And if you want to reverse back 10 minutes, press down. And that buffer is pretty amazing. Especially for a show that just came out and you normally would be having to pay for Hulu service to watch this So but if you mistakenly press the home button That will take you out of the app It's unfortunate. There's no real easy way to get back But one thing I have to do is go back to settings 
applications as long as application and crash go all the way down manage all and now you can go to back to tvmc click ok launch application and there you go brought us back play, press play and pause okay so now let's get out of this show and stop the great thing is there's also, aside from the TV shows, um, there are the latest movies. It will tell you, uh, it, obviously, the movies that are in the theaters right now um, will be crappy quality. Um, so we'll leave one channel and we'll try Genesis. We'll go down to Genesis. So there's multiple sources, so you, there, there's a lot more, but these are the main two, so I'm going to click on, so right now we can do in theaters. And see, there's the latest Hobbit, Hob, latest Hobbit Mockingjay, Horrible Bosses, um, but that's pretty amazing that's even there. So same concept. So um, like let's say if you want to install Pandora, you can uh, go to music, uh, go to add-ons, and click on get more. And then they'll give you a list of tons of stuff. Obviously, obviously you can use the Pandora in the regular home screen, but uh, you can at least get the stuff um, if you, uh, in this system without you having to exit it. Um, so same same concept in videos. You can go to add-ons, and if you research, there's tons of different add-ons. There's even a, a, a Funimation one from what I remember. Hmm, I didn't see it on the standard one. Oh, obviously you, you click Get More. Oh, there's YouTube. You go to Get More. There's tons. So, like, let's say if we go to Funimation, it should give you access to animes. And there you go. Funimation. So, that's about it. There's tons of other stuff I have not even dived into, but basically that's all to it so now every time you want to watch movies and shows you can easily go through here without having to go to um, your computer you can also uh, connect network drives uh, remotely it's even more complicated but yeah i hope you enjoy your gift